let's see what i've received in the package wow a beautiful danish arc of the nyx by nathan hill it is february the 5th and i think it's about time that i start my reading vlog i have here a closed and common orbit by becky chambers which is a companion novel to another novel that i read last year that a lot of people read last year and absolutely loved and that novel is the long way to a small and queer planet so i was very interested to see what this book would be all about as i said it is a companion novel and i feel like it was very different in certain aspects for instance there are only two main characters in this book it's also less humorous and it deals with some topics that are heartbreaking but also very interesting to read about i definitely love to read about jane and her perspective she was so observant and it was amazing to read about her development in this book the other character i wasn't that into so that obviously kind of ruined half of the book for me not ruined it but i wasn't that intrigued in that part so this book was definitely a twist from the first one and i gave this one three stars i have read three books which i can't really tell you about because they are part of a series and i believe that this series has only been published in scandinavia but i will briefly mention them this is book three four and five in a series by yan guyo which is a historical fiction about some families or actually it's just about one family but several generations i gave each and every book four out of five stars i really really like this series and yeah that's basically all i can tell you but i definitely enjoyed reading these i have finished the gustav sonata by rose treman which is a book that takes place in switzerland can you see zeus in the background hello zeus Hello. I really really like this book not because it takes place in Switzerland but because it deals with a unique friendship between two boys it's unique because well I don't know we get to follow them in the beginning when they are five year olds and then it goes back in time and follows the main characters parents and then we go forth in time and get to know them as older men and it's a book about how you sometimes choose the wrong paths in life and how that can affect everyone around you it takes place during the autumnal and wintry months which i really adored because it creates this very special atmosphere i really liked it i gave this one four out of five stars so that's another book finished in my endless tbr pile i bought my first book for myself in 2017 so this is True American Jeans by Yan Guyo. Wow, it looks really pretty. I've been wanting to spoil myself a little bit and go buy a book. So this was the one and I'm so eager to dive into it as soon as I finish the book I'm currently reading. This is what the complete series looks like as well as Zeus. But really, if you can get your hands on these books, do so. I believe they are out in Scandinavia. the 15th and it is a really really beautiful day the sun is shining but i'm here to talk about the next book i finished and that is after the parade by laurie osland which comes with one of the most amazing covers that i own this is the story of aaron who all of a sudden decides to leave his life partner walter after 20 years of partnership and then moved to san francisco i will admit that in the beginning it was kind of hard to get into the story but once we really get to know Aaron and once we get to know about his childhood and his mother I was so fascinated with him and his friends and family I really 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 like this novel I ended up giving it 4 out of 5 stars just because of the kind of slow beginning Two things, first of all I have finished this book The Nyx by Nathan Hill and I found it very, very good, impressively good actually. This is the story of an author whose mother left him when he was 11 years old. And then later in life, he is determined to write about his mother because of various reasons. As I said, I really, really like this book. I was determined to give it four and a half stars, but in the end I gave it four stars 
just because it felt like in the end the story was unraveling. There were some plot holes that I didn't really like and it felt like the conclusion to the story dragged on for a hundred pages which I didn't like either but all in all I really really like this book and I do recommend it. Second thing I want to talk about is a book I have received which I have bought myself another book this month but this one I have actually read already. I just really really wanted to have it in my collection and this is the book I'm talking about. The Circle by Dave Eggers, definitely, definitely worth a read. It is now later in the day and I have finished this book, which is book number six in the series that I have been reading recently by Jan Guyo. Obviously, I can't talk too much about it here just because it's a book in the middle of a series. But once again, I really, really loved being back with these characters and it was just as good as I was hoping for. And I gave this book number six four out of five stars. I have read Sputnik's Sweetheart by Haruki Murakami, which I found rather confusing because I usually love Haru Haruki Murakami's novels. I have read a lot of those and I have loved them, but this one I found had some rather dull passages and quite a lot of them, so that I was bored for a lot of this novel. However, it also contains one of my favorite literary scenes, which is about this ferris wheel that you see on the cover. I can't really give away what it is, but that made up for it, definitely. And I also like how it plays with magical realism as we usually get in his novels. So all in all, I gave this book three out of five stars, but I will say that I was kind of disappointed in some of these chapters. I have read almost all of Ivanhoe by Sir Walter Scott, and the reason why I didn't read all of it is, as you can probably guess, that I decided to put it down. I read two thirds of it, and then I just decided that even though this was a good enough story, it was just so hard to read and the story in itself wasn't interesting enough and I felt like I had gotten out of it what I wanted to get out of it. An old classic, it's from the 1820s and it's about knights, it's about tournaments and it's about big battles and that's it. As you can hear, I wasn't that intrigued with the story. I did consider for a long time whether to put it down or not, but the thing is there are so many other books out there that I want to read so that was the reason that made me Put it down. I have read such an amazing book. I think it's going to be my favorite book of this month. It's been such a long time since I last was so emotionally involved in a book. The book is Here I Am by Jonathan Safran Foa, my first book by this author. And as you can hear, I was very much impressed with him. Suits, please be quiet. It's going to be very hard to give you all of my thoughts on this novel within just one minute. So please, please go check out my review on Goodreads. It's funny because I have had my eyes on this book for the past year, I think. I've seen it in people's videos, I've seen it on people's shelves, and I've been kind of interested in it, but I didn't know if it would be something for me. Then last weekend, a friend of mine gave this copy to me because she had two of those, and I was like, yeah, I would definitely like to receive it and read it. And I'm so happy I did now because, as I said, it was one of my favorite, if not my favorite, book of this month. And obviously I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Today is the last day of February and I have finished my last book of the month and that is The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy which is a very, very silly book, however entertaining. I'm not going to give away too much of the plot because right from the beginning the action sets in and I was quite surprised when I read it and I was also fascinated and entertained but as the story progressed I just felt like the actions of the characters became sillier and even more unbelievable and it felt like Thomas Hardy was just trying to force the plot forward in order to make an entertaining story and it was indeed but it wasn't credible in any way I think so it was a silly book but it was still pretty entertaining and I gave this last book of February 3 out of 5 stars and that is it for my reading vlog I hope you enjoyed this month's video and until next time happy reading